is the next day. So this is what I did in between to recover as quickly as possible. First of all, hydration. So the more you sweat, the more you play, the more water you need to drink. At a minimum, you want to focus on getting your urine, your pee back to clear. You'll notice that after you play, after you sweat a lot, your pee will be yellow. So try to get it back to clear. Nutrition. Immediately after your game, you want to be eating a source of especially carbohydrates if you have to play the next day. So getting some fruit or a nice fruit juice into your system is a great idea. Yes, you can get some protein as well, but throughout the rest of the day, you really want to focus on getting a good source of protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. I can't tell you exactly how much to eat because that depends on your physical demands and your body type. Next, I moved into some contrast baths. So I started with a cold bath or an ice bath. I just had one bag of ice, so I put that in there. You can put as much ice as you want. The colder it is, the more beneficial it will be. You can just put some cold water if you want. Just run as cold water as possible. It's still going to help you recover. So get that ice in there and get that cold bath going. Then you want to get yourself in. The toughest part is just getting in there and getting through those first few minutes. While you're sitting in there, just go for it. Just put yourself in right away and then focus on your breathing. You'll get past that first minute or two minutes and then it will become a lot easier. So once you're in the bathtub and you're all set, you may want to think about, I like to get a book. If you want to risk it, you could use your cell phone, but get something to distract yourself. And I would recommend that you sit in there for a minimum of about 20 minutes. This is gonna help you suck all the lactic acid that you've built up through the physical demands of the day. It's gonna help suck that out of your legs and help you recover quicker. Now, once I completed the 20 minute ice bath, I moved into, I call this a contrast bath, so I did a warm bath. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. Now, I'm not saying a hot bath, I'm saying a warm bath because Especially since your legs have just been in cold water for 20 minutes, if you put boiling hot water, you're probably going to burn your skin. So you just want a warm bath, get it to a temperature that is comfortable, it's going to be a nice contrast from the cold, and now you're focusing on getting some heat back into your muscles. And you'll notice that after you get out of this 20 minute warm bath, after the ice bath, you'll probably already be feeling better, and get out of this 20 minute warm bath, you will be feeling amazing. So again, just get in there, that first minute it might be a little uncomfortable, but you'll get through it, then get your book or your phone, whatever you want, something to distract you, I would recommend another 20 minutes. So after I've done those ice baths, I'm already feeling the ice bath and the hot bath, I'm already feeling great, and I did some foam rolling. So I'm not gonna tell you do 30 seconds of five repetitions for each exercise, because what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the specific points on your body that are tight that need tension. We all move in different ways, we all play different positions, we all go through different things. So we're not all gonna feel the exact same soreness in the exact same area. So you need to be aware of your body. Analyze your body, say, hey, where am I really tight? Where am I really sore? Which areas do I need to work on to release tension? So focus on those areas. I have this on super high speed, so it looks like I'm really cruising through these, but I would recommend that you go nice and slow. It should hurt. It should be a little bit painful, but in a good way. You know it's actually doing something. And here you're focusing on massaging all of the tension and tightness out of your muscles. So as I said, focus on those specific muscle groups. And once I finish the foam rolling, then I moved into a little bit. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. ...of stretching. Similar to the foam rolling here, you want to focus on your specific areas that are holding tension and tightness. So what's sore on your body, that's where you need to stretch. Now, when you are doing these stretches, I would recommend you do a minimum of 30 seconds. When you're warming up, you're doing that dynamic, those two second stretches. Here you're doing static stretching. So you wanna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds, or you could do 10 deep breaths, focus on your breathing while you're stretching, going a little bit deeper with each breath. Now you can just do this while you're hanging out, watching TV, but really focus on those areas on your body that are tight, and you'll notice that after you spend those 30 seconds, you'll start to loosen up. So I just threw this in here for a little bonus. This is not something I expect you to do. It's just something I have the luxury of having in my house. So I have a very nice massage chair in my basement. So I'll just sit in there and play some FIFA while I get a 20 minute massage on my back and my legs. 
And also I am using a TENS unit or an electrotherapy unit and basically you put these little patches on whatever part of your body that you want and you adjust the intensity and it sends electro waves, electro currents through your body to help repair broken down muscles and re release tension. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I've gone through an injury so I had a quad injury that I'm trying to deal with here. So let's recap how to recover effectively. Number one, hydration. Immediately after game and throughout the rest of the night, you wanna be drinking lots of water, focusing on getting your urine back to clear. Nutrition, immediately after your game, I want you to focus on getting a good source of carbohydrates. Yes, you can get a little bit of protein, but carbohydrates especially to get energy back into your muscles. Then throughout the rest of the day, you wanna think about consuming good, healthy sources of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Move into the contrast bath. So you can start with a cold bath or an ice bath. The colder it is, the more ice you put in there, the more beneficial it's going to be, but the more difficult it will be to endure for 20 minutes. So you can just make it as cold as you want, but sit in there for 20 minutes. Then you're gonna move into a warm bath, getting some heat back into your muscles, minimum of 20 minutes. And after that, you will feel amazing. To do a little bit of extra recovery, you can go into foam rolling and stretching, focusing on your specific areas that have tension and tightness. Thank you so much. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field, and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.